All right, Tommy boy. I'm gonna do another lesson about some simple rock techniques, cowboy chords. All right, cowboy chords are open chords. So you're gonna sound heavier than bar chords. They're easier to play, so they sustain better. Uh, the big ones are gonna be D, G. I like to do G with the two fingers. Here, two fingers down at the bottom here. I think that's how you do it anyway. D, C, now instead of doing a C like this, this is a very common thing to do, is to take your D, and then take this middle, middle finger, and bring it up here to the C note. Kind of like a, a version of a C chord. So C root, which is the third fret, second string on the A string, and then the rest of the G chord. So you see D chord, or you can put the pinky down. I usually don't, just two fingers. So what it is is. The second string here, third fret, and the second string here, third fret. As you see. So C. 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 It's kind of like a who thing. Now important, keep it on the treble pickup and work on your tone. Not too dirty, not too clean. You know, a little cleaner. You could do some more picking. See with D, you could also pick this, pick this up here, the highest note, just get rid of it and See what I did? So I turned the D into a C. Pick that up. And then a G. So it's a D, C, D. Work. Remember shaking the chords? It's a Townsend kind of a thing. You notice I'm not that dirty. That's the beauty of, of it. It's that I'm not over distorting. That's a common, common novice mistake that I made up to a couple years ago. Just don't over distort it. Keep it to the point where you could still do jangly stuff and then dig into it more. And then here's A. So A, I'm just taking the third string, fretting it and leaning down on those three notes. And with the A chord, you don't play this E note. You're starting at A root, which is the second string, and then you're going down from there. So I'm ignoring the highest note and the lowest note essentially with A. I'm also muting with this finger here, but I didn't even realize it. So that E note is out of the picture because I'm muting it here. Something I do subconsciously because I'm playing an A note, a second position, second string chord. So, all right, let's tune up. Sounds a little out. Yeah, that E string was flat. Okay. With the A, we'll go. Let's try a G and a D. So there's also this thing with the A. Remember this? So on the G note, third, 
third uh, fret on the dot there, I'm, I'm hitting it and giving it a little bend. It feels good to dig into it. It's a rock and roll thing. So I go. GD now, watch. So I'm muting those, I'm making them tight. Let's take off this echo, make it a little tighter. So after I hit the note, I'm making it quick. I'm stopping it. Let's take the other echo off. Two. That's quick. That's a good exercise, actually. It's the other one. Remember this? Bring this note down one more. Suss it. D sus with my pinky now. C cowboy chord. Take that C note, bring it down one fret. G. This time I'm I'm leaving it out. The highest note, I'm just not fretting it. doing old cowboy chords. Bar chords. I like the cowboy chords better. Taking this A, A and I'm bringing it up. But I'm leaving the A root note alone. That always rides.